Okay, next one is a, a very easy problem basically everybody knows. So there is no point of thinking that you will not able to do. So let us say this is geminal diol, one volt diol. So one one diol is also called geminal diol. So you have a geminal diol that is one one diol. So you have a one one diol and this is called geminal diol. So if I treat a geminal diol, geminal diol are usually unstable. So let us say something is geminal diol of something of this kind. CH3COH OH CH3 This is generally unstable. Geminal diols are unstable. And question says a spontaneously losing water to give carbonyl compound. So this loses water in acidic medium or even without in acidic medium to give carbonyl compound. So this gives carbonyl compound something like this acetone so this gives a carbonyl compound plus water so it loses h2o molecule therefore the geminal diols regarded as a hydrated form of ketol and uh, ketone and aldehyde so if you see aldehyde and ketone if you add one molecule of water this becomes a this thing so this is a hydrated form so geminal diols can be think as a hydrate of aldehyde and ketone so this is a hydrate of you can call it hydrate of aldehyde or ketone because I am adding water hydrate of aldehyde or ketone in this case this is a hydrate of ketone so geminal diode can be uh, think uh, as a hydrate of aldehyde and ketone this says propose the mechanism for acid catalyzed loss of water from propane propane 2 to diol to give acetone so you have to write down the mechanism Basically, this reaction is reversible. You will have some this side also. So, at equilibrium mixture, we will have some hydrate form, and you will have some acetone form. So, this is your acetone. And this is your propane, propane two to diol. So, this is propane, and position number two to you have diol. So, this is propane two to diol. So, this molecule is propane two to diol. Now we have, to, we have to write on the mechanism in acidic medium very simple we have, you have to lose one molecule of water so there is no point of writing this is a so easy problem so you see OH OH is there CH3 is there now I have H plus this H plus takes one H plus this lone pair will take H plus from here so I will have CH3 COH OH2 plus now CH2 plus becomes a good living group so I have to release H2O from here you can release H2O plus and then you can isomerize or you can uh, in the one step you can do so let us release H2O so if you release H2O what you will have you will have CH3 CCH3 plus and OH is here so the upper OH I have written the downside so this OH I have written downside because we don't have a space in the top now the next step I can write a resonating structure something like this so this molecule have a resonating structure CS3 C double bond O H plus CS3 what should I do in the next step loss of huh, H plus so if I lose one H plus molecule because we have oxygen is positively charged and this H plus can be lost because in the first step I have taken one H plus as a acid catalyst so in the last step I have to lose one H plus so if I lose one H plus this becomes CH3CO CH3 now see not only uh, one one diol if you have two good living group at carbon number one so if you have so let us say this is R1 and R2 if you have leaving group here LG1 this is LG2 this kinds of so if you have two good living group this kinds of compounds are generally unstable and if there is a something like electron giver pusher if there is a electron donating group so it will make the release fast so it will repel this one leaving group easily so any electron donating group will make the repulsion easy so electron donating group will easily repel the one leaving group so you can write electron donating group donating group 
so donating group ng i have to write donating group will make release easy will make leaving group release easy this is the thing we are saying okay so you write it and then you will discuss the next problem so i said in this problem if you have a two good leaving group in this case oh oh but uh, still i have to make good leaving group by acid catalysis because oh is itself not a good leaving group i have to make oh2 plus or ots so oh becomes good leaving group by adding h plus so if you have two good leaving group on same carbon this kind of molecule are generally not a stable and this stabilizes by loss of one leaving group so in this case you see there is a loss of one h2o molecule now if you have so another important part is this is called hydrate so if you have aldehyde ketone if you add water this side so this is called hydrate so this is a hydrate of aldehyde and ketone if you remember there is a chloral hydrate so hydrate of this compound that is called chloral hydrate did you remember or not chcl3 ah uh, sorry ccl3 cho this is called chloral hydrate if you have acetaldehyde ah uh, this is called chloral so this is chloral now you see ccl3 coh oh this is the hydrate of chloral are you getting now this molecule is generally stable why this is so because you have cl 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 even though this is a compound that contains two oh on the same carbon but it is stable a reason is hydrogen bonding you have a hydrogen bonding here you have a hydrogen bonding here so chloral hydrate are generally stable so this is a plus charge this is a minus charge this is again plus charge this is a minus charge so it looks like due to hydrogen bonding so even though you have 1 1 diol so this is a 1 1 diol this hydrate is a stable chloral hydrate is a stable there are some more hydrate that is a stable so you can see chloral hydrate is stable chloral hydrate this is a stable you have to remember this one there are some more hydrate that is a stable we have discussed in the class we'll discuss the next problem